Hi everyone, welcome back to the next diecast. In today's video, I'll be unboxing the 2018 scale Ferrari Monza SP1 made by Barago. I got this model from Sam's Club for around $17 in total, and my parents later ended up giving it to me for my birthday. And yes, this is made by Barago, but the model is in a Maisto box, as you can see here. That That's because Barago and Maisto are under the same brand umbrella, and Brago models sold at wholesale clubs such as Sam's Club, Costco, and BJ's and whatnot um, are all packed in Maisto branded boxes. And usually the Brago logo is underneath the box, but you just have the Maisto logo in the case of this one here. But this model is made by Brago. So if you do get this outside of a wholesale club, it'll come in a Brago branded box. So, as you can see, it's in the typical box style that you see from 118 scale models sold at Sam's Club, where you have the Maisto logo on the front and on top, 118 scale die cast metal, and in the case of this Ferrari model, you have the Ferrari logo in the top right-hand corner. Same basic stuff on the side flaps, as well as the back for all of these boxes, and then underneath, you have the License by Ferrari sticker on there as well. So we'll go ahead and get this model out of the box. We'll open it up from the side here. All right, there's the front of the Monza. It looks like a really cool car. We'll go ahead and pull this out of the box next. And Brago released this model back in, I want to say 2021, and you can currently get it in this really cool gray and yellow that you see here. And they also have a signature series version, which is kind of like a more upper end version that's in red. There's also a 124th scale version of this model as well. Let's pull it out of the box. Put this little piece of dust on it or something there. Weird. All right, we'll pull it out. All right, there's the Monza out of the box. Really cool looking car, single seater as well. This was actually made to resemble, I believe it was the Testa Rosa, um, not the 80s Testa Rosa, that was all one word, but the race car from the 1960s that had one seat kind of similar to this one here. And the Testa Rosa was actually called the 250 Testa Rosa. This is a really cool looking car. So we'll go ahead and get this unscrewed from the base next. It's going to be held down by two screws. So we're going to go ahead and do that next. Something interesting I just realized is that this model does in fact have the Maisto logo on the base, even though it's actually made by Barago. So I'm not really sure why that is, because this isn't a this isn't actually a Maisto model. They only sell it as a Maisto model at wholesale clubs. And as you saw with the Bugatti Bolide, which was also made by Barago. It did retain the Barago nameplate on the base, but on here they actually put a Maisto name on it. So technically, I guess this is made by Maisto. Very interesting. I'll have to look more into that for when I do the review of this model. But um, I did get the model off the base, as you can see right here. And instead of straps holding shut the parts, it looks like you have these clear stickers. These already kind of came off, so I'm going to pull those off like so. And then you actually have a couple holding shut the hood here and then the door. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of those off next. All right, here is the Monza SP1 out of the box and with all the stickers off. Looks like a really cool model. Of course, you have the opening door because there is just one door, which opens up like that. Opening rear trunk, which opens up like so. and the opening hood. And it looks like you actually have to open these up in a certain order. You have to open up the hood with the door shut, and then you have to then open the door, and then the trunk, like so. 
Looks like a really cool model. Definitely looking forward to doing a review on it for my next video. Thanks for watching.